AP CRAM, the AP Human Geography Exam, Free Response Question 56, Migration Principles, Core Periphery. Remember that Section 2 consists of free response questions. There are three questions that should be formatted as short essay answers, and you have 75 minutes to complete them, so allocate your time properly. The free response section is 50% of your exam score. You're required to define and explain and apply geographic concepts and also interpret geographic data. Okay? Explain the principle of core periphery. Core periphery. So what does the juxtaposition of these two terms mean? I'll give you a moment to think. For those of you using this index card as review for um, the AP Human Geography exam, be sure to write out a complete, clear, and concise answer that you could formulate into like an essay or essay sh short answer, okay? And for those of you using this for other purposes, it may not be necessary to write out your answer. But form a complete thought regarding it, okay? All right, now that you've heard me ramble and you've had a moment to think, so whenever you um, see these two terms clumped together, it, rep, uh, it they want you to just keep in mind that there's gonna be an uneven spatial distribution of economic, political, and or cultural power, okay? So if you're referring to a core nation or a core country, that would be a more developed na nation in terms of economics and maybe even political structure. Whereas if you say periphery nation or periphery country, you're referring to a less developed region of the world, okay? And here goes a map that depicts um, the different countries of the world according to whether they're classified as core, semi-periphery, periphery, or other. All right, this is, what is this? I'm not sure if this is Iceland or Greenland. This may be Iceland. I'm not exactly sure. Don't hold me to it. You have to know geography, not me. Okay, so that's the only, or this may be Guyana or Venezuela. I'm thinking Guyana. These are the only places I see classified as other. The United States classified as core, Australia core, Asia, India, South Africa. I don't know, what is this, Brazil? And hold on, I don't know what that is either. Yeah, you can tell me in the comment section, I'm sure. These are semi-periphery countries, Mexico, semi-periphery, periphery, lots of South American countries, lots of African countries, lots of um, European countries, Middle Eastern regions, okay? So there's still a lot of regions that are periphery, all right? I'm not sure who came up with this classification. Um, sorry if someone's texting me, but it's pretty um, up to date. You know, I'm not sure what parameters they're using to decide on the classification of these countries, okay? All right.